what you do is you write, of course, your name, what you're talking about, and who the audience is. And then what you do on this sheet of paper is you spend a little bit of time thinking about the three relationships on this page. So speaker and subject. Why are you speaking about this subject? Why have you been invited? What is your relationship to the subject? Are there any gaps in your knowledge that you might need to fill before you speak? Questions like that. So you write those on this side of the triangle. Then down at the bottom, speaker, a subject, and audience. What is the audience's relationship with the subject? Do they know anything about it? Do they know nothing? Do they like it? Do they not like it? Are they afraid of it? Are they resistant? How is the subject related to the audience? And then the final side, speaker and audience. What is your relationship to the audience? Do you know them? Do they know you? Are you strangers? Do they like you? Do they not like you? Have they had pre previous dealings with you? Do you have authority over the audience? When Steve Jobs spoke to the employees at Apple, speaker had authority over the audience. If you're making a presentation to your company's board of directors, audience has authority over you. So what is your relationship to the audience? So the page is gonna start getting pretty messy. It's gonna fill up with a lot of ideas and that's great, that's what you want. Once you've done that, you then have to add in a fourth element.